still worthy. Hello and welcome. My name is Z, and today is a special video for me. I actually purchased my first CGC graded comic, and I'm pretty excited about it. So I'm going to be showing you guys that. But I'm also going to show you a couple of other items that I picked up. I shopped at a flea market, then I found this little tiny. It's literally a house um, in my city. It's a house, and it's just full of collectibles, like old records old CDs, old trading cards, comics, thousands of books. It was really amazing. So um, I went there too and got a couple things. So I'm just going to be showing those off and then I will show you my first graded CGC comic that I purchased. I didn't get it graded myself, but I'm still happy to have it. So uh, the first thing I am actually going to show is I got a copy of Wild Cards. Now, I've never knew anything about this book, this story, never heard of it, but I was watching a YouTube video like a couple days ago, I think, and I can't remember who it was. It was either Comic Tom or, or one of those guys, and they showed this, and they started talking something about the value or whatever. I didn't pay much attention to it, but as I'm flipping through issues at that little house I was telling you about, I saw this, and I'm like, wait. I know what that is. I've seen this before. I'm like, I gotta get it. So I actually picked it up. Um, they sell pretty well too. They're, I've looked on eBay. They've been selling um, like clockwork. I mean, every day there's sales going on with this. Usually right around maybe like 30 bucks. And I was able to grab it for $5. So uh, that's the first one I got. That's definitely a win. Anytime I can find something that may be like a quick flip or like a good investment deal, uh, always good. And then um, I have Thor. As you guys know, Thor is, is everything for me. And this is actually a key issue. Um, there's a first appearance somewhere here. I can't remember exactly who uh, appears in it. But I did manage to get this. This actually I got from the flea market. And I can't remember how much I paid for it because this actually had been a couple of days ago. But uh, this issue here, uh, dang, how much did I pay for it? I think it was maybe like five bucks. And I'm not sure what the value is, but it is Thor related, so I just had to pick it up. And it's in pretty, it's in pretty decent shape. Both of these issues, the um, Wild Cards and the Thor, are both in uh, really good shape. Not too bad at all. Um, I'm not gonna try to throw a grade on it, but some pretty good shape there. Then I got this issue of Thor as well. This is another key issue. So the first appearance of like the new warriors. You got Juggernaut here. So I got this one at the flea market as well. I paid like $8 for it. I know um, these can sell pretty high, especially once you have them graded. The grade on this one's not that great, um, which is obvious. Those two, they're you know pretty decent uh, this one yeah they're not it's not that great so I mean it's definitely below a four uh, I mean not a four <laughs> definitely below an eight for sure so but I think it still sells pretty well even if it was great at that low but another key issue I was happy to pick that up there and then I ended up getting uh, this one as well and this isn't a key issue as far as value is concerned or as far as first appearances. However, um, when you, if you were to Google top Thor stories, this right here will, uh, will undoubtedly be on there and it's usually number one. Um, so this is the story with Beta Ray Bill and Thor and you have the Surtur line. Uh, as well so that's what this issue is I was able to pick it up for two bucks this actually still this sells for like I think maybe around like 11 or something like that I don't plan on selling it right now but um, yeah I got to add it to the collection there, and it's in a pretty good shape as well so yeah we that so those is pretty much everything I bought well, actually I did just get this randomly this is Monsters Unleashed Fantastic Four, and uh, it's like holographic cover. That's the only reason I got it. I just thought it was cool. Only paid two bucks for it, so you know 
I didn't really, yeah. I just got it just because the way it changes is super dope. I was like, that's sick. Uh, so that one. Um, oh yeah, I did get a second copy of Warlock. So this is uh, part of the Blood and Thunder series. I have the entire collection. I actually have a video showcasing the entire collection that I have on it. But I got a second copy because it was relatively inexpensive, only like $3.95 is what I paid for it. Um, and it's not in terrible shape, it's in pretty decent shape. Um, maybe about a, maybe right at an 8, maybe like a 7.5 or something. But um, yeah, pretty good there. And then my first CGC graded comic. It's like, no, that's not it. Um, it is Deceased Dead Planet. So I am so happy that to have it, uh, not for its value, but for one, I like the story. The story is super dope. And I kind of more or less just this year learned about CGC grading for comics. And, um, you know, I want, I want to definitely get some grade. I'm going to be grading some comics, getting some comics graded in the near future. But, um, yeah, just to be able to have this was just super dope. I got it pretty much right at market value, maybe like $10 under. The guy did drop $10 off of it, and uh, it's a 9.8. So, yeah, I was definitely happy uh, to be able to get this. And I didn't know the slabs were this big. Like, I didn't think about it, really. I didn't think they were this big. But when I saw it in person, I'm like, yo, that's freaking huge, man. Like, look at this thing. It was huge. But uh, yeah, this is my very first CGC graded comic ever. So now this is documented. This is it right here. So super happy about that. But other than that, that is all that I have purchased recently. Well, actually, I got, I've purchased modern comics, um, but I'm not going to go over those right now. I'll go over those a different time. But yeah, that's it, man. I uh, appreciate you guys sticking around if you did. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe down below, and uh, tell me what you think about this, and uh, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Thank you.